Hi guys, this is Dr. Mukhtar Ahmed, currently working as veterinary assistant surgeon, Department of Animal Husbandry, Government of Jammu and Kashmir. I want to discuss this artificial insemination in poultry. I was having it in my laptop and I thought I should share with you people. Most of us are knowing artificial insemination in large animals, maybe cattle or buffalo. But it is an important technique in poultry industry also. Let's introduce it. If we will go through the artificial insemination, what is it? it is definition? Artificial insemination is a process by which we collect the semen from male cock, then introduce the same semen into the female reproductive tract in order to get the fertile egg. It is done in almost every species of the poultry, but mostly it is done in case of turkey and chicken. Prominently, it is done in case of turkey breeding. Why? Because in case of turkey, which are having problem of incompatibility, successful natural mating doesn't occur because there is incompatibility between sizes of male and female. The male size goes about 33 kg, whereas female size it goes maximum of 12 kg. So successful artificial design, natural mating doesn't occur there and at t here artificial insemination is an important procedure. It has been seen that it is most beneficial, more beneficial as compared to the natural mating. By use of artificial insemination we can increase the fertility from 5 to 10 percent and in turn hatchability is also increased. Let's go through the history of this artificial insemination. It was firstly Levin Hawk who firstly visualized the spermatozoa under microscope. It took about 100 years by different scientists and it was at last Lassezerus Splenzi in 1784 who firstly performed the artificial insemination in case of beach. In case of poultry, the first successful artificial insemination was done by Evinau in 1899. But he firstly slaughtered the male cock, collected the semen from was difference, and then introduced the same semen into the female reproductive tract, and he successfully collected the fertile egg out of this. There are different methods of artificial insemination in case of poultry, like intraperitoneal, intravaginal. Most commonly, intravaginal method is used, which was developed by Queen and Barrow in 1936. Why we should do artificial insemination? Why not natural mating in case of birds? Efficient use of males. We can reduce the number of males in breeding program. If we will see the male is to female ratio in case of breeding program, natural mating, it is about 10 males and 1 female for heavy breeds. Heavy breeds, I mean to say, is the breeder, broiler breeder. And light breeds, it is layer breeder. There we require one male for 15 hands. But if we will perform the artificial insemination, we can reduce this male number very less. If we will reduce it, we can reduce the nutritional cost, we can reduce the managemental cost, and in turn, we can increase the fertility. It has been seen that in case of natural mating, we require one male for 50 hands. It means in case of heavy breeds, we increase this ratio, ratio five times. Isn't it? In case of light breeds, we increase it up to three times. Increase mating ratio already discussed. Record of pedigree. If we want to keep records, we can keep it very easily because we manually collect the semen from the males and we manually introduce the semen to the females. If we want to keep the records, we can keep it very easily. This appropriate size. I already told you that in case of heavy breeds like broiler breeders, and turkey there is incompatibility in natural mating and artificial insemination plays an important role there if we are having less genetically superior birds and we want to disseminate the superiority to a wide range artificial insemination can be done there and we can get good results rapidly we can get wide dissemination of the superiority to a wide range of population isn't in a less time venereal disease can be controlled by use of artificial insemination because for the artificial insemination in birds, we generally dilute it with a specific diluent. There is important component of the diluent antibiotics. Different antibiotics are added to, in order to control the contamination, in order to control the microbial growth. And in turn, we can control the venereal disease. In case of some species of the poultry like guinea fowl and quail, there is pairing ability. 
they form couples that doesn't allow others to be mated. If there is death of one male or female, they doesn't allow other. And artificial insemination here will play an important role. Decrease the cost of production. As I already told you, we can reduce the number of males. We can by this we can reduce the feed cost, nutritional cost, and managemental cost. Increase the profitability. Natural mating. Maximum fertility 80 to 85 percent. This fertility can be increased 5 10 percent if we will perform the artificial insemination in case of birds. Fertility in broiler beater it goes on decreasing as the age increases because the size increases, compatibility in, in incompatibility increases, and artificial insemination will play a role there. Older and endangered birds, those birds that are not able to mount and they are genetic, if they are genetically superior. Artificial insemination will be used there, will be followed there, and we can get the fertility. There are some specialties. In case of other breeds or other species of the animals, like large animals, cattle and buffalo are small animals, they have no, not this type of speciality. Means they have ability, birds have ability to store the spermatozoa for period of time. They have some special organs we call their sperm storage tubules. These tubules, they are positively correlated. Number, their number, are positively correlated with the fertility. It varies from bird to bird. It varies from breed to breed. It varies from species to species. In case of turkey, twenty thousand to thirty thousand has been seen. Chicken, five thousand to thirteen thousand. Duration varies. Storage of spermatozoa it varies. Three weeks, ten. But it doesn't matter that it is stores after three weeks. We can get the fertile egg. That's what we can get, not get the optimum fertility after three weeks. How these spermatozoa are stored in SST? There are some mechanism. There is some mechanism. There are some reasons. Reversal suppression. There is suppression of metabolism or metabolic processes. Sperm motility is suppressed. Or sperm becomes stagnant there is no use of energy there is no production of any metabolites or we can say free radicals there if there is any if there is any injury during transit from vaginal opening where we deposit the semen or any other uh, when it reaches to the sperm storage tubule it get repaired there in sperm storage tubules this sst is the sequester or they absorb the essential nutrients which are necessary for the sustainability which are necessary for survival of these spermatozoa peroxid it has been said that antioxidative enzymes are very high in concentration in sperm storage tubules as compared to the surrounding tissues and secondly this plasma limb of spermatozoa are mainly made up of fatty acids they are prone to this peroxidation and when there is antioxidation enzymes are present they prevent it Evidin concentration is very high in SSTs. What is function of evidin? They sequester the vitamins and biotin, which is necessary for the sperm survival. There are different methods, as I already told you. Intravaginal method is important method, which we commonly use in case of poultry. This is the process I have shown it. Preparation of meal, collection of the semen from meal, evaluation of the semen, dilution of the semen, and deposition of the semen in vaginal opening of the female. Collection of semen, these are the steps by which we go through it. At least we need two operators. One holds the bird calmly or uh, in a good way. Second operator massages the back of the bird or abdominal region two to three times when the bird, male bird, erects its tail. It means the male cock is ready to ejaculate at the time which gently is this vent region of the bird. It gives neat and clean semen which can be collected in the funnel. Semen color, you can see if contamination this color may arrive. These are the characteristic of different semen of different semen of different species. Semen volume and concentration is given. You can grow through it. Viability. This is the important method which we use in large animals also. In this method, we see number of dead spermatozoa and live spermatozoa. This is an important assay. In this assay, we see number of the holes in the inner pyrovital membrane and number of the spermatozoa that get trapped in outer pyrovital. They are positively correlated. Means inner pyrovital, outer pyrovital, they are correlated. They are in turn cor positively correlated with the fertility. 
insemination doses you can go through it different species frequency it depends it depends there are many reasons concentration volume ability bird species kunsi hai accordingly we inseminate it generally you can remember that in case of chicken we generally inseminate it after two days means we give two days gap after two days we inseminate it in order to get optimum fertility because we should not get less fertility if we are getting less fertility means we are wasting what we are wasting we are wasting profitability we produce the fertile egg about 20 25 rupees are invested to get the fertile egg table purpose egg we get it only 3 rupees 4 rupees but this egg we get it 25 26 rupees it means cost of production for fertile egg is very high and if we are not getting fertility it means there is huge loss we have to save it isn't so optimum means up to 2 days otherwise we can get the fertile egg up to 21 days in case of chicken but up to 2 days we have to inseminate it in order to get the optimum in case of turkey we can inseminate it weekly why one is sperm concentration in case of turkey is very high second the number of ssds is very high as compared to the chicken you have seen last duration you can see here fertility in japanese coil factors affecting fertility after ai we can go through these there are different factors some of them are given here timing of the ai yes this is a very important thing timing of the ai should be in evening because mostly the birds lay egg up to 1 12 pm isn't so if we will inseminate it in the morning egg is in reproductive tract it hinders the transmission transit of this spermatozoa or semen because semen has to move from vaginal opening to the ssds or impenetrable ovary fertilization okay it hinders this transmission so it should be done so that all the female hands are without egg in reproductive tract conclusion yes we will now conclude if we will perform the artificial insemination in case of birds we can reduce we can increase the fertility as i already told you that fertility is increased about 5 to 10% in turn hatchability is also increased artificial insemination at proper dilution generally we dilute chicken semen one is to two dilution means one part of the semen and two parts of the diluent and we get the good fertility about 90 it reaches about 90 percent so endangered species can be saved future we can use semen in future if we will store it by use a proper dilute isn't and we can increase the profitability how one is how we can increase the profit one thing we can if we will we are able to increase the fertility and in turn hatchability it means we are giving some thing to the profit second thing if we are able to reduce the number of males isn't number of males we reduce we can reduce the nutritional cost we can use to reduce the managemental cost we can reduce the housing cost isn't and at last we can increase the profitability in poultry industry this was the all regarding the artificial insemination in poultry if you are having any question regarding the artificial insemination in poultry please mail me comment on it or call me i will be there for you thank you thank you very much